Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I am doing something I haven't done in a while, which is a tag video. And I saw this tag from Makeup Mama, um, and I thought it was really, really cool, and I really wanted to do this tag because it's not like a lot of the, you know, normal tags you see kind of floating around, like, favorite this and that and stuff, so. Yeah, so, um, this is the Why I Wear Makeup tag, so, yeah. First question is, how old were you when you started wearing makeup? Uh, maybe 12, 13. I wasn't really allowed to wear a lot of makeup um, until I got into high school. And then I was pretty much on my own to do whatever I wanted to do. And who taught you to apply makeup? Um, no one really taught me. I watched my aunt, and she's a cosmetologist and I kind of watched her do her makeup and then I started getting into watching YouTube videos and you know just kind of went from there what's your favorite eye makeup look to wear obviously the bolder the brighter and the crazier the better um, I love bright colors I love crazy shapes and like weird angles. I really love that. And, um, I think that's my favorite. Like, the theatrical, you know, kind of visual K, rocker inspired, crazy bright, bright, just bright in your face stuff. Um, what is your favorite makeup brand? Mm, that's a good one. Um, there are a lot of different brands that I really like, but the one that I feel that I gravitate towards most is BH Cosmetics, especially the Welcome to Brazil palette. I find myself grabbing that a lot, but Lorac has slowly crept up into my favorites as well. Do you wear foundation on a daily basis? I do not. Um, I work in shipping and receiving for retail, so if I even think about putting on face makeup it'll just melt off with just me thinking about it so usually when I work luckily I don't have to deal with customers um, and I'm there before the crack of dawn on um, I usually don't put anything on my face I'll do my eyebrows and maybe some liner and some mascara and that's about it because it's all I have time for because I like to sleep in even though I have to get up at five o'clock in the morning yeah um, <laughs> But if I do wear something on my face, it's um, a BB cream or a little bit of concealer and powder, but I really honestly don't have time for that in the mornings. I have just enough time to get up, get changed, drink some coffee, and go. That's about it. <laughs> have you ever worn false eyelashes? Yes, I have. Um, I love them. I think they're gorgeous and just, oh, they look amazing on. But those things are so annoying. Like, I always feel like there's something in my eye or there's something on my face the whole entire time. I mean, they look awesome. And I'm just like, oh my god, it looks so cute. But I, did not, I can't stand how they feel. Like, the best feeling in the world is ripping off an eyelash at the end of the day and just like, oh, yes. Do you prefer high-end or drugstore? I prefer a drugstore because it's more accessible, it's definitely more affordable, and some high-end makeup is crap, and then there's some, you know, drugstore makeup that beats, you know, the high-end stuff. So, what color are your eyes? Um, they are like a icy blue. I get my eyes from my dad. He has the exact same eyes, and I get asked a lot if my eyes are contacts, and they're not. Um, they're just like these really kind of eerie, icy blue eyes. Um, what color eyeshadows make your eyes pop? Um, honestly, I don't know. Um, I know that for blue eyes, you go the opposite of the color spectrum, which is like gold and, you know, bronzes and stuff like that. But I've found my eyes pop when I wear blue eyeshadow or purple eyeshadow or really any eyeshadow. Um, they're just that noticeable, really. <laughs> um, do you use makeup brushes and what brand? I do use makeup brushes. I have way too many, 
and I love them, but I hate them at the same time because I every time I have to clean them, it's just like, why is there so many? Um, I really like the Sedona lace brushes. They're really nice quality, and I believe that they're better than Mac. They are a little bit on the pricey side, but they are so worth it. Um, and like my cheaper alternative is usually e.l.f. brushes because those things are awesome. I do admit that they sometimes do break, like the um, handle will kind of come out, but just put some uh, super glue and you're good to go, like, really. <laughs> Lip gloss, lipstick, or neither? Um, honestly neither, um, even though I'm wearing lipstick today, um, I, I don't really like wearing lipstick, I mean I like the way it looks, but kind of the same with false eyelashes, I just don't like the way it feels, um, I would love to wear dark lips every single day, um, I used to wear black lipstick every single day in high school, and, um, you know, it didn't bother me, but now, it's just like, I just feel like, I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna get on my teeth, it's gonna get all over my face, and, I don't know, I'm just kind of paranoid about that, so, but I really do like the dark lips, though. What is one makeup product you cannot live without? Probably foundation or BB cream. I have to have something, um on my face like if I go out or whatever for work I really don't care what I look like I could look like the Grim Reaper and go up in there and I don't have to <laughs> worry about it because you know the only people that are going to see me are my co-workers and I'm not trying to look cute with him that's the not no um but I always need you know something on my face and eyebrows why do you wear makeup because I want to um, makeup is a great way to express yourself and be creative and I just wear it because I want to. Um, I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm not trying to, um, you know, make people like me. I'm just, I wear makeup for myself. I don't wear it for anybody else and that's the way it should be. You shouldn't have to put on tons and tons of makeup to make someone else happy. Um, I know I do a lot of crazy stuff, like crazy looks, and I literally do go out with them. I have gone out with like that monster girl makeup. I went out to Walmart um, to pick up my aunt from work and uh, got some pretty interesting looks, but I don't really care because I liked it and I thought it was cute. So, you know, um, I wear it because I want to. I love being creative. I love, you know, doing crazy things on my face that didn't come out right. Um, and yeah, I just, I want to. What is one makeup trend you do not understand? Lip injections. I mean, <sighs> I understand you want fuller lips. But you can do that with makeup. I don't know if that's considered a makeup trend um, or not. But I've noticed people, a lot of people actually get lip injections so their lips look huge. Um, you know, I know I've had way too much um, done. And, um, no, no, sorry. Um, I'm trying to think of like an actual like makeup makeup trend mostly like beauty, some beauty trends that I don't understand, actually a lot of them I don't understand, um, I don't know, sponge or brush, depends on what I'm putting on my face, um, I'm guessing it's for foundation, because it's sponge or brush, um, so, usually I use my hands, I know it's probably like the most unhygienic thing, whatever, um, but I do clean my hands, I wash my hands before I put on any face makeup, um, but for eyeshadow I have to have brushes, like I cannot go back to those little dinky sponges that I used to use back in the day, I cannot do it, I will not do it, it's just, it's terrible. Favorite foundation brush? These, right here. Um, I don't really like foundation brushes, I just find that they always make my foundation look really streaky and so either I use my hands or I use a beauty blender 
Um, I'm kind of scared now to use beauty blenders because of that one video that went viral about the bitch finding all the fucking shit in her, um, beauty blender, so I'm like, great. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I've been using my hands a lot more, um, so yeah. Pencil gel or liquid eyeliner? Pencil because it's the easiest and the quickest and I prefer the coal liner, not the, you know, whatever, God knows what that other stuff is, like, just like hard charcoal kind of thing, um, so, yeah, pencil, because it's just do, 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 you're done. You don't have to wait for it to dry, you don't have to wait for it to set, you just do your thing and do whatever, and you can also use it as a base, so, kill two birds with one stone. Favorite era of makeup? Definitely the 80s. Crazy eyeshadow, crazy blush, crazy lipstick. I love it. So much love. <laughs> and one tip you wish everyone knew. Don't take makeup so seriously. Just because someone says you should do something a certain way doesn't mean you need to do it. And you don't need to go out and buy expensive products that you cannot afford or, you know, just to be pretty or just to look good or be in trend or whatever like do do whatever you want like if you want pink eyebrows do pink eyebrows if you want blue lipstick do it I just wish that people wouldn't be so critical of everyone else's makeup and how they do their makeup and what they do with it like if I want to draw a tentacle on my face I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna go to Walmart or I'm gonna go to the drugstore and be like hey y'all you know just do what makes you happy. Don't worry about what anyone else is going to say, what anyone else is going to think, because you know what? At the end of the day, they don't matter. They really don't. The only person that can make you feel inferior is yourself. That's it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. I don't do a lot of tags, but if you guys have another tag request, let me know. Um, I am going to be filming some videos this week, so expect that. Um, I'm going to do some fall looks, you know, me. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, follow all my social media down below. Subscribe, hit the like button, and I will talk to you later. Bye.